So next, I just wanted to touch on some of the food safety issues um, that are of importance in the post-harvest environment. So primarily focusing in on, you know, packing sheds and packing houses. So our concerns about pathogen contamination, they're not, they don't stop after we, we harvest our produce. Um, there can certainly be contamination uh, post-harvest as well. So I just wanted to introduce um, these two concepts of transient and then resident contamination of, of food products. So in transient contamination, we have one product that's coming into our facility that's contaminated uh, with a pathogenic microorganism. That contaminated piece of fruit is going to move through our facility and it might contaminate, you know, a few other pieces of produce, produce it directly contacts. But the level of overall contamination of products is relatively low. So in contrast, when we have resident contamination, we have a microbial pathogen that is built up on a food contact surface. And so in this scenario, any piece of food that contacts that contaminated surface can then become contaminated itself. So in this situation where you have this resident con contamination, we have much higher levels of contaminated product um, coming out of the facility. So we, we have this group of bacterial pathogens we call environmental pathogens that can actually build up and become resident in the post-harvest environment. And so Listeria monocytogenes that I, I mentioned earlier is an environmental pathogen that really thrives in moist environments and is of particular concern in, in packing sheds and packing houses. Listeria monocytogenes has the ability to, to form biofilms, which are these complex communities of bacteria. And once these biofilms have, have formed, um, they're very difficult to remove uh, via routine cleaning or sanitation. Typically, these biofilms form in what we call microbial growth niches. So these are places that are really difficult to clean and sanitize in a facility. Typically, we see the stereomonocytogenes uh, biofilms in drains, so floor drains in, the, in your packing shed, in coolers, so any place where you would have condensate building up is of concern. They can also form biofilms uh, in conveyor systems, so if you had you know, foam rollers or some other material that would, would hold moisture. Those are really the areas that we're concerned about um, in terms of Listeria monocytogenes buildup. And so that cantaloupe outbreak I mentioned earlier um, was caused by post-harvest contamination with Listeria monocytogenes. So in this particular outbreak, it was found that the equipment they used to wash and convey these melons was not properly cleaned and sanitized. And when FDA went into this facility and did their outbreak investigation, they were able to find this um, outbreak strain of Listeria monocytogenes throughout that packing line, as well as in um, other areas of the packing shed environment. And so this is just a picture of that particular facility. And so this uh, business, they, they purchased um, their equipment from a farm that was packing potatoes and they hadn't done a deep clean or sanitation when they got this equipment in their facility. And so that led to the subsequent contamination of their cantaloupes. And so when FDA went in, um, they found that 13 of the environmental samples they took were positive for the stereo strain that was implicated in the outbreak. And they found it all over that packing line as well as in the cold storage area. Um, so kind of a um, very egregious um, post-harvest contamination issue. We, we wouldn't expect for something this extreme to happen normally. Um, but it is really important to identify those post-harvest areas that might be harbored sites for Listeria monocytogenes. 
So this might include, you know, your harvest bins, conveyors, other areas where you have um, moisture and debris uh, that can build up and kind of create this ideal environment for Listeria monocytogenes to grow and thrive. So do, you know, if you're, you're planning on growing produce and having, you know, a packing shed, maybe a small scale packing house, um, you definitely want to, to, to take this into consideration um, because it, it has caused issues in the past. 